The rubber part one. Oh my gosh, what rubber? I know what rubber y'all talking about. Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We're gonna be checking out the Cyanide and Happiness Try Not To Laugh compilation today, guys. I've done so many of these, I don't even remember what part it is, but you know the rules. You do not wanna laugh at the following shorts. They are hilarious, so it will be hard. This challenge is probably gonna be one of the hardest things you've ever had to have done in your life. Like, it's harder than college. It's harder than <laughs> rocket science. But don't fear, because I know I'm gonna take the dub. So are you gonna take the dub? You better take the dub, because if you're not taking the dub, you're taking the L. And as I always reiterate, you want to watch until the end because the Cyanide Happiness Shorts have the best plot twist ever. Like, they, oh my gosh, they, they crack me up so much. All right, don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment a funny roast today. Funniest roast will get, like, a like, reply, or a pin. But yeah, go ahead and roast somebody today. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and check out. Try not to laugh, Cyanide Happiness compilation today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Drive through. What you, what you, he's going to the food shack. What is this, uh, KFC? Cause they got uh, wings. Can I get a large fry, burger, apple pie, Diet Coke, uh... A large everything? All large everything, Trinidad James? <laughs> a bacon wrap milkshake. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, I, I can't understand you. Yeah, I can't understand you. No, you need to speak clearly. Like, why do drive through people sound like this? Let me just drive Come on. on to the next window. There you go. Tell them your order. Frustrated. All right, tell me your order. Now I want a <gasps> oh! What? This is what I'm talking about. The plot twist. He gonna snatch your money too. <laughs> Oh, he gave you change? Oh, he's so nice! I asked for an apple pie. Ooh, that'll take a minute. Just pull up to the front. Is this guy serious? This robber is really serving him? And here's your apple pie. <laughs> drive, drive, drive! I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> So at first, like I thought this drive-thru person like probably had a stroke and he really talked like that. Like that's the plot twist that I was expecting. But it turns out they're getting robbed. And he still made his order, he still got his change, and he still actually waited for his apple pie. I mean, man, you deserve to get your car stolen. You really gonna wait for an apple pie just so I could burn the roof of your mouth? <laughs> Let me know if you ever went to McDonald's and then you bought an apple pie and then it absolutely burned your mouth. I'm pretty sure that's like 99% of people who bought an apple pie from McDonald's. Along with the coffee, I heard about that lady who spilled coffee on her lap, you know. That's not a place you want to spill hot coffee, and she got like millions of dollars. Still a sad story, but hey, millions of dollars, I'll take it. The rubber part one. Oh my gosh, what rubber? I know what rubber y'all talking about. Ooh, do you have a rubber? <laughs> yeah, of course. Let me go put it on. Okay, go put it on, Ginger. God, oh man, he doesn't. Oh, ha! He doesn't have one. <laughs> Just pull out, my dude. He's really doesn't he really doesn't have one. Oh no, come on. <laughs> A rubber duck. What? They were just right there. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. <laughs> And he gave birth to a half rubber duck. Ch oh gosh, triplets, triplets. He used a rubber duck, and then he gave birth to rubber duck triplets. Don't know how j DNA, how that's medically biologically possible, but hey, he did it. You should have just pulled out, man. Like, look at you. You over here being a fool, looking for a rubber when you could just pull out. You know, use that method. That method saves. 
thousands of lives. You know, I probably believe it works better than using a rubber life. Just just pull out, man. Just pull out. Because that's what I always do, you know. And I have no kids. So I guess you could say it's a 100% satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> but no, kids aren't the worst thing in the world. I'm just saying, like, if you're doing a one-night stand or a hookup or something, clearly you don't want to get that person pregnant. But kids, they are full of joy and full of life. You know, dogs are better, but, you know, babies are babies. <laughs> ha ha hobo. They left me out a homeless person. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you hobos ready to ha ha? I'm ready to laugh. Let's get it. <laughs> okay, great audience. So let's start with a little improv. <laughs> okay, first, I need a profession. Hobo, transient, bum, derelict, drug addict, brown, street urchin, guy with no job. Oh, they're all bums. Yeah, I heard hobo. That's a good one. <laughs> That's so sad. Okay, I heard shitty alley. That's good. All right. Uh, good location. Good neighborhood. Safe for the kids. Good school. Okay, I think I heard crack. That's good. Okay. Uh, crack cocaine, the dirtiest of all drugs. You, sir. Okay, so hobo, shitty alley, and crack. Ready? Oh, um. Mmm. This is some good crack. <laughs> oh my gosh, some of these people are savages. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, he's really exposing the cracks in our society. Give me it. Ooh. Get your Looney Tunes. <laughs> this is how people in Scooby Doo used to fight. <laughs> what is this, Seinfeld? The crack me up. Oh, I get it. That's the name of the 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 funny place. It's not fair to say that all hobos are like dirty and use crack or heroin or meth, but it is safe to say that a lot of them do. Where I was growing up, we didn't have public uh, transportation, so like homeless people were not around in my town. Like you did not see homeless people. I am from Arlington, Texas. You do not see homeless people there. They purposely did that too, so people like from homeless people from Dallas or other cities can't like migrate to Arlington. You know, untapped potential because we do have a lot of rich people here, but they will not donate to homeless people. We got bougie. We got the the silver spoon people. Those are the people who do not donate donate to the homeless. They donate to like charities so they can get tax write offs. I know the whole drill. But yeah, if you're a hobo watching this video, <laughs> how'd you get internet? First of all, but no, uh, yeah, don't do drugs. Go back to school and get a job. <laughs> the shelter. Ooh, sounds dangerous. The world is over. Okay. Radiation and whatever. We Big Mama. How much you eating? That we have this bomb shelter and each other. Are we gonna be okay? He likes his girl's BBW. We, we can't go outside, but <laughs> we'll be safe down here. Well, looks like this is our new home. Do we have enough food to get by? I stocked up just before we left. What'd you get? We've got enough supplies to last us. You got some days. something nasty. Aw, poor, poor girl. Thing. She hasn't had anything to eat today. You had plenty to eat. <laughs> I'll grab us something from the pantry. <laughs> no, I'm just messy. I like big girls. He packed a can of laughs. Canned laughter. How did you buy that? The, they were on sale. Oh I my goodness. They were cans of soup. They, they gotta be here somewhere. He bought cans of laughter. Y'all are gonna starve. <laughs> Carl, Carl, what's going on? Where's the food? There's gotta be something else here. There's no, you messed up, Carl. Oh, no. You bought laughter. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Are we going to die down here? You're not gonna die. You got plenty of food on you. Honey? Honey? There's nothing. There's nothing. This isn't funny though, they're really gonna die. <laughs> Aww. A sitcom? So that was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. They had a little sitcom going, and this this guy bought canned laughter instead of like canned food. 
Y'all are surviving two or three days. The wife is though. I know y'all saw her. Hey, if you like your girl's BBW, there's nothing against that. Like I do too. <laughs> you know that Drake song? Drake put everybody on BBWs. But I hope you didn't laugh at that challenge and I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, even though you weren't allowed to laugh because it is a try not to laugh. So you gotta follow the rules. My favorite store had to have been the one, <laughs> the person getting robbed. Like <laughs> his man actually went to the drive through line, was getting robbed even put in an order and got mad that his apple pie wasn't there and he waited for him to arrive these are the plot twists that i'm telling you that i love so much about cyanide and happiness like you gotta get on it but uh, don't forget to hit me with a like subscribe and comment on this video if you want to apply from Miss truly prince charming my name is prince of hawk i'm stay charming my friends